Ireland for David Goff. It's his 40th championship match. He's been on the panel since 2013. It's his second Kerry Mayo game, 2017 All Ireland semi final replay was the last. Kevin McStay joins me. Kerry won the toss in the sense of wearing their traditional green and gold jerseys. Mayo won the toss on the field and have decided to play from right to left. Free in as David Goff closed his whistle for the very first time in this much delayed encounter, the final quarter final tie between Kerry and Mayo. We've had loads of drama, loads of excitement, loads of talking points. And indeed, I'm sure lots of controversy, as you saw if you were tuned in earlier. First opportunity is uh, falling to Mayo. It's Killian O'Connor, who's uh, got a total of a goal and 15 points so far in this championship campaign. The goal coming against Monaghan, and that was from a penalty. This to set Mayo on their way. Open score in quote five. 51 seconds gone. You know, just let me bring you up to speed with the much anticipated and talked about matchups. Oshin Mullen, fit and healthy, out, and he's keeping an eye on David Clifford. And Lee Keegan is picking up the brother party. So they're the opening two. We get to get to the rest in a moment. David Moore with the catch. With sunshine when uh, Colby Armagh started their quarter final time. I'm afraid we've heavy rain here, dark clouds overhead. It almost seems like a different day here in the, the capital city. Well, if Killian O'Connor started proceedings with a free after 51 seconds, there's an opportunity here for David Clifford to do something similar. Just a score of uh, four points in the championship because, of course, he missed that Munster football final against uh, Limerick through injury. Rob Henley. Taking it short, putting his uh, team under a little bit of pressure, I have to say, as Kerry come forward and come forward to actually take advantage almost off the post. And they're chasing this. Paul Ganey is underneath it. Staying with them is Ushin Mullen. Paul comes back outside. There's a chance here for Gavin White. And that flies between the posts and over the bar. And all from, uh, all from the kickout. How often do we see trouble from these short kickouts these days? Not to be said for letting us fly down long and having a contest. So that's a, a costly one. Paul McLaughlin to Matthew Rouad. In for his eight, no shame. Ball inside. Quickly delivered. Rain are going to make it difficult now for the players to retain possession first time. It has to be delivered to chest rather than down to the ankles. Here comes uh, Graham O'Sullivan. Drummer Pierces. Same club as Jack O'Connor and indeed Declan O'Sullivan. Ball inside. This is going to be an interesting battle. Ashin Muller comes away with it. Rumours of his uh, hamstring injury were greatly exaggerated, thankfully. It's good to see him. He's a fine footballer. Ball inside for his Lee Keegan. Laying it off for his Jordan Flynn. Pasmalina delivering the ball. High ball he was before, but it still reaches his intended target. Good to see Mayo using the long ball, I have to say. Back out for Zashin Mullen, looking for a little bit of support. Comes in the form of midfielder, all-star footballer 2021, Matthew Roy. Spraying the ball over towards the Cusick stand side. Connor Loftus. Going for a score. It's a bit like far this. out, but it really is good. Great score, Connor Loftus. Well, that's been a feature, Marty, of the whole weekend. I've been watching the four quarter finals. The amount of space the extra man can get on the right hand side, on the Cusick stand side, when they rotate the ball across the field, and that was an uncontested but an excellent, excellent score. Quick ball inside again. Whoops. Just tripping over himself and falling awkwardly. And that is a dramatic moment coming after four minutes. And he really fell awkward. He's after getting up. That's David Clifford. But uh, he's going for the ball here. but there was a oohs and ahs around Crook Park and he's still considering himself and uh, he's down on his knees here and he needs a little bit of medical attention meanwhile on the play it's Lee Keegan laying it over for Stephen Cohen captain looking around looking for that long ball again being delivered nice ball inside cut out this time by Graham O'Sullivan twice an All-Ireland minor medalist in 2016 and 17 now 
fully fledged senior member of the squad. Tumor O'Connor laying it off nicely. Far as Cody Clifford joined his brother on the All Star team last year, which was the first time they were carrying brothers since the uh, famous Sochet brothers of Mark Claus and uh, Dara back in 2007. Tyke Morley laying it off. Stephen O'Brien, South Kerry lads, combining nicely. Paul Ganey from the West, as they say. Dingo, that's a good uh, mark, as uh, Sean O'Shea was uh, being tightly marked, it must be said, but he still did well. Sixteen points so far, eight frees. That statistic is going to remain the same. There is obviously concern about David Clifford. Just uh, still to be, seem to be just moving gingerly, but getting into his stride. I think he's going to run it off. Yeah, I think that's. It. He seemed to step on the ball. I thought he just mm. got tangled up in it. But yeah, as you say, Marty, trying to run it off now. Here it is, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, just there. And uh, well, the, the conditions are treacherous. It has to say to the viewers at home that the rain has uh, really made the surface very, very slippery. Matthew Ryan using the long ball. There was a push. The referee spotted it. Killian O'Connor was looking for it, and he got it. But it was legitimate. As Tom O'Sullivan was closing in. As you get the front position on a day like today and there's any contact whatsoever you're going to get the benefit of the doubt that's the key thing get the front position the ref will be wanting to give you the advantage young football of the year back in 2011 and 12. all-star 2014 and 20. that's our camera angle over the cusick stand gives you an idea of what's facing killian o'connor Here he comes. It's a rather high. Well, importantly, he's hit it wide. Disappointment for him and indeed his manager, James Horn. In the Hessian, Marty is taking up Paul Ganey and uh, it's Jordan Flynn and uh, David Bourne. There are two more matchups and uh, they're going to be very well contested. Aidan O'Shea. Back out for us, Jordan Flynn. Matthew Rouen. Kevin McLaughlin is immediately available. He makes a run inside. Lee Keegan. Back to Aidan O'Shea. It's over, I'd say. That is hit beautifully. That is a great score. Aidan O'Shea, who will celebrate his 31st birthday next Wednesday. He's so. showing fine form in Crook Park. That will give him huge confidence. Nice present to self, and uh, that will be worth two points, Marty, in terms of the psychology of, of the male support as well, to see him getting into the game and scoring early. <laughs> the funny thing is uh, that his uh, direct opponent, David Bourne, is celebrating his 34th birthday on the same day. <laughs> so they can, where do they you can congratulate where do you, each other. Where do you find these? <laughs> Back down for his Oshin Muller, his keeper. Claude Henley comes out, lays it off for his end of Hessian. Former minor captain a few years ago. He has Caddy Durkin to his immediate left. Great burst of speed. Jumid O'Connor. Laying it back for his Jordan Flynn. Kevin McLaughlin was on his shoulder. He looked for it. Number 24 on his back. He's the right late replacement for James Carr. Lovely little dispossession. David Bourne goes back to about his defence. Lays it off. Far as Dara Moynihan coming forward is Stephen O'Brien. Double marked. David Clifford, and he's certainly holding himself a little bit. That's not normal. He's just a little bit hesitant even going for the ball. And the Mayo defence are well aware of the danger, having seen his up close and personal in the league final when Corey Gohora was marked in. He looks to be double and treble marked every time they go long 
the last thing he wants to be doing is jumping for a ball uh, as he had to there obviously the ball was in the air because when he lands down he's putting pressure it looked like an ankle injury we think achilles injury perhaps that type of a, that type of an injury but he's uh, he's very ginger on it jack carney was hoping to curl that never happened this is uh, what happened earlier just seemed to hit you see just his big right toe there seemed to hit the ball and just it disorientated him he came down hard on his on his right uh, yeah. foot and uh, there's the there's the highway again so he, he just he's finding himself he's still walking he's moving around but uh, not fully at it yet Graham O'Sullivan David Bourne Stephen O'Brien is looking for it gets it into the centre towards Stephen O'Connor Toddy Clifford comes out as was anticipated out around the midfield area and pumping it in law oh, that's a great ball there's a real opportunity oh brilliant but wide but the ball is wide but it was gathered Fabulous let's pass. watch this tall gainy yeah oh went on the near outside. side yeah it looked like it was the back of the net because the net rattled it was a it was a marvelous chance Paddy Durkett receiving the pass from Oshin Mullen. Back to Mullen again. Jack Carney to form well in league and indeed championship so far. Connor Loftus didn't get fully behind it. Shane Ryan has the time to gather it. Clyde Morley has played such a part in. The redesigning of this uh, Kerry team under Jack O'Connor played very well at centre back all through the league. Hasn't really been tested in the championship. Push in the back. Clearly spotted by the referee David Goff. Matthew Ryan acknowledging that he was the one. Gavin Watch, Dr. Crooks. Lovely rob by Owen McLaughlin. He was unlucky there. He really was. I thought the same as you. It looked like a, a nice rob, but maybe there was a jersey tug early just to. White is, is very fast, Gavin White, that uh, gets the bounce there. Certainly, an initial viewing, Kevin, it looked legitimate. Free to carry, meanwhile, it's Stephen O'Brien. Trying to slip one through to our favourite Clifford. Mayo come away with it. Connor Loftus. Jim O'Connor. David Bourne standing in front of him. Back out first, Connor Loftus again. Plenty of support to his immediate right. That's Jordan Flynn. Not a great ball, but it should retain, be retained by Mayo. Stephen Cohen. Jim O'Connor. Happy to recycle it, give it all the way back for Azushin Mullen. May all have started well. They're playing with a degree of confidence that we didn't really see in the previous match against uh, Kildare. Kevin McLaughlin laying it back for his Aidan O'Shea. Jordan Flett. Lee Keegan, Aidan O'Shea, Stephen Cohen, plenty of uh, male jerseys over this side, one of them is Enda Hessian, Connor Loftus is there too, good pressure by Kerry, David Clifford, first his colleague in the full forward line Paul Ganey, gives it back first Clifford again, Coming from midfield areas, Darren Moynihan, Buddy Clifford, Brino Bugliak has really established himself on this Kerry starting 15. Kerry equally patient. Going for the shot from a difficult enough angle, and it's a 
really lovely score by the left corner back, Thomas Oliver. Nice slicer. Takes the angle out of it when you can open it up like that. And uh, a lovely equaliser. Thomas Sullivan, championship debutant against Mayo five years ago. He's already from left corner back from that position, although positions mean very little in the modern game, has scored three points. It was against Limerick in the Munster final. Quick hands, Stephen Cohen. There's a bit of space in front of Cohen. Looking for the target man, which is Jack Carney. Gets it out for his Jim O'Connor. Kerry back there defending well. Stephen Cohen is available again. Paddy Durkin is looking at the pulse. Dropping in. The goalkeeper is coming off his line. Fists it well. away. Did, did well. well. Did great there. Stephen O'Brien. Back first tag Morley. You can see how the conditions have just improved in the afternoon with the heavy rain. Paul Ganey. Paddy Clifford. Into Hessian. Staying with him. Back to Paul Ganey again. Clifford. David Moore. The inner line wanted the ball to be delivered quickly. It wasn't happening. But he did uh, get fouled on his journey towards the Canal and Goldfuss. That's going to be a free for carry. Yeah, that's just a silly foul to give away. There's no requirement for that much contact. David Moore was heading into a few Mayo defenders. There's every chance that they might box him out or corral him. But uh, this is going to be a tap over. David Clifford. With the left boot. It's this over the bar. Kick out from Rob Henley. Is not good for your heart if you happen to be from Mayo. Happened more than more than once now. I won't be surprised if James Horn will be telling him go long. Ball down to Jack Carney is good. The pass outside wasn't, but but they are playing the long ball a lot more, aren't they, Kevin? Yeah, and they're getting it on the on their first uh, possession. It's sticking, but uh, the transfer there, complete uh, missed time. Just got it slightly wrong, but the possession has turned over. David Moore. Darren Moynihan has the time to gather it. Trying to make an angle for himself. Lays it off first on O'Shea. David Clifford. Makes a little bit of space. Rob Henley did well. We mightn't be too impressed with his kickouts, but his ball handling over the crossbar was really tough. Tough class. Lee Keegan. Here's the call from Matthew Ruan. Has to get past the first tackle. Doesn't quite achieve that. Referee says that's fine. I have no doubts about that one. Meanwhile, Kerry come forward with Toddy Clifford. Lee Keegan is staying with him as much as possible. He's playing very deep, Paddy Clifford. Sean O'Shea. Gone across as his, I don't know, an intercounty teammate, but his club mate as well, Stephen O'Brien from Kinmare. Back out first, David Moore. There are options in front of the Hogan. One of them is Brino Bielgliak. Ball inside. Man, it's not great. But Kerry gather it. Sean O'Shea, nice little dummy, makes a little bit of space and splits the post. Lovely balanced footballer. Good feet, good hands. Yeah, it's gorgeous. The little bit of evasion skill. Just had just dropped it. Dropped the, the ball down the dummy. And then the accuracy to finish it. Lovely piece of work. Kevin McLaughlin. Plenty of support to his right, Stephen Cohen. Some interesting information there in terms of it's been a while since Mayo scored. And our graphic, obviously, was right on spot on. <laughs> right on Full cue. credit to our bathroom team. 
because uh, we were just saying how long it's been since Mayo scored and Killian O'Connor delivers. Yeah, that was a right good one too from a very difficult angle. Teamwork on the field, teamwork off the field. David Clifford turns to me. This time he slips, he's, I think he's okay. But the conditions are causing problems for David Clifford and the ball is just going inside the post. It curled in. Might be the umpire's to the credit. You know, well, he's giving it. Yeah, but uh, you might find he'd go upstairs, Marty, on this one because that was tight. You're dead on, Kevin. David Goff is you, making sure. Yeah, if you have it, use it. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know why they rush for the flags. Maybe it's protocol. They like to make the, the quick decision. But they're all checked anyway. We know this. Here we go. Is it a thaw or a kneel? It's a knee, doesn't it? It's, looks like it's a kneel. It's outside. Well, as you say, Kevin, that's good use of technology. When it's here. David Goff and his team, absolutely correct. Marty, this right-hand side, that Courier attacking uh, the Hogan, where the Hogan meets the Davin, is particularly treacherous. We're seeing a lot of players uh, slipping and sliding uh, around that in, in this in that particular area. We call it David Clifford because he's been doing the most of it. But John O'Shea, a few others that went in there, lost their feet very quickly. Robbie Henley. Going short once again. Kerry are pushing up on those kickouts. But not pushing up to the extent that he's changed his mind. Not going long at all. Ashin Muller. Scored a great goal against Kildare. Owen McLaughlin. It's fouled. Free from Mayo. Kickable now. When uh, Breen of Yugley didn't release the ball, it was she wanted to take it quickly, but now it's in range. Killian O'Connor range, if not Robbie Henley range, one or the other. Both Killian O'Connor and Robbie Henley are coming over to take this. Looks like the uh, keeper is going to take charge of it. You can see that Kerry are concerned about David Clifford's right angle. Trying to make sure that. He can continue on. Oshin Mullen, the, the number three, right beside him. That gives you an idea of Rob Henley's angle. Heading down towards Hill 16. Scored once against Monaghan. Scored once against Kerry. It was a very good start by Mayo. It has to be said to come in here as rank outsiders, underdogs. Nobody giving them a prayer, their own supporters, most of the media, all of the media perhaps. But in that bubble, the belief that they can pull one, and this is a good start for them. Level for the fourth time here in this quarterfinal. Ball comes back outside for Thomas Sullivan. Graham O'Sullivan. Brina Bjogliak. David Moore. Mayo retreat, but not to the point of being inside their own half of the field. They're putting the challenges in here between the 45 and 65. Matthew Rad pursued, pursuing. Gavin Watch. Tall again in nice scale. And a Hessian staying with him. Can the finish be just as good as the approach? It's a thing of beauty. Paul Gainey, one of the points of the game so far. Look at that, for a lovely chip up on the run. And he was really being tightly marked, and then at the end of it all, squeezed it inside the post. He had the insurance policy, uh, Marty, it has to be said. Uh, David Goff gave him the advantage with the hand up, so he knew he was on it. Kick out goes astray. So does the pass inside. Nice pick up again. And he had no shares back there. Just a little bit worrying about those Mayo kickouts, uh, Kevin. For every good one, we're getting two that are a little bit uh, shaky. Jack Carney and Jason Foley going for the ball. Shane Ryan from Ratmore comes out to gather. Gives it to Dingle's Tom O'Sullivan. Acres of space 
front of the Hogan there for David Bourne, but he decides to give it back. Ends up with Breener Bjelgliak, who gets the return pass from Stephen O'Brien. Nice ball inside towards Sean O'Shea. Capable of scoring from here. He makes an angle. Lovely dummy. Lays it off. Dermot O'Connor. This is looking good, but the pass inside is a poor one. And Paddy Durkin is back there. Plenty of black male jerseys down the middle towards Jordan Flynn. Owen McLaughlin laying it back first, Killian O'Connor. Coming forward is Matthew Roy. Jordan Flynn, Bravely and Cross Malina combining. Nice ball inside. Nice turn. Jack Carney. Yep. Oh, it's on its way. Really good play, Mel. Very impressive. It. He hasn't signaled it, Marty. Well, it looked good from uh, here. It looked great from here. Uh, there was a bit of curl at the end of it. Still nothing. So well, let's look. Upstairs Hawk again. Eye. Yeah. Because there was a bit of bend on the end of it. It was a lovely shot. Hawkeye will confirm whether it is inside or outside. Oh, well inside. Inside. There you go. My eyes are not deceiving me yet, Kevin. No, it's not a top marks. <laughs> Good score, Jack Carney. But the build-up was really good, Kevin, by Mayo. Yeah, good touch, good passing. And uh, that ball again that they're looking in, in, inside the diagonal, low with a hop into the receiver. And let's be honest, you know, we've criticised Mayo in the past for playing a lot of the ball across from the Hogan to the Cusick. But they are kicking the ball a lot more, and Jack Carney is quite a good target man. And this surface will reward accurate foot passing because it will skid nicely uh, into the corner men if you're out in front it's your day david Bourne finds paul gainey who's under severe pressure from ender hessian gets away from the challenge coming through the middle paddy durkin has the situation under control far as aid no shame and the people thought that this was going to be a cakewalk for kerry it's not happening yet sides level six points each aid no shame needs a little bit of support Teddy Durkin, Jordan Flynn, Stephen Cohen, capable of scoring from there. He's got it. He was a forward in the past. He's now centre half back, and he's showing great leadership both on and off the field. He That's start. Stephen Cohen. He has started well, Marty. There's no question. He was under a lot of pressure in the selection process. Well, locally they were saying that anyway. Now the Kerry kick out is under pressure. Good work by Jim O'Connor. Spotted that Shane Ryan was trying to go short. Ball into the centre. Easily gathered by Brina Bjorglia. Two man carry full forward line up front, but they're well marked at the moment. This is one of them. David Clifford. Paddy Durkin now taking that responsibility. O'Brien was the player who gave this man the combination. Clifford! Magic in Crook Park. Stephen O'Brien and David Clifford combined magnificently to split open the Mayo defence. One, two, bang, back of the net. Brilliant. Well, the finish is just immaculate. Now, he, he uh, started it, he won the first one and then had the one, two with Stephen O'Brien. The finish is just immaculate. Uh, no question. Bang, back of the net. Owen McLaughlin. Giving it first back to Rouen. Comes far as Killian O'Connor. Mayo have been in these situations before. They've shown such character over the years when they suffer heartbreaking defeats to bounce back. And here they are again in a quarter final. And conceding a goal to David Clifford when they were playing well will be a little bit of a test of character. Can they respond? Lee Keegan. Tempted to do it quickly, but the ball is wide. Well, that's kind of a trademark, uh, Lee Keegan. Here's the goal again. Now, this is the angle for everybody at home. He's one on one with the keeper. He has to pick his spot, and then he essentially passes it into the net. Little bit of power, but not outrageous power, just placement. Referee well, has blown his whistle for that uh, challenge by Kevin McLaughlin and Stephen O'Brien. Talking with, uh, with his uh, near linesman here, Neil Cullen, isn't it? 
sure is. Didn't see what happened myself. Black card. Black card. That's it's Aidan O'Shea. For Aidan O'Shea. Well, that obviously was information given, I would suggest, from the, from the sideline. Yep, from the line. Yeah, absolutely. And Aidan O'Shea is off camera letting his feelings be known to the uh, linesman. And we'll try and pick it up in a few moments, have a look at it. I didn't see it. Ball comes back outside, Kerry. The dark clouds and rain has disappeared. Sunshine now. Back again, ball inside. This time they all deal with the challenge posed by David Clifford, Lee Keegan. Far as Paddy Durkin. That was brilliant by Ushin Mullen Murphy, that piece of defensive work. Magnificent touch and got the ball away. Lee Keegan. Jack Carney. From Kilmina in uh, West Mayo. Won the Junior All Ireland title last year. They're now playing intermediate football in Mayo when the club championship begins. Jimmy O'Connor. Mayo will be happy to retain the possession, particularly when Aidan O'Shea in a black card at the moment. Lee Keegan. Spring it over towards Jimmy O'Connor. Back again for his Keegan. Keeping the ball as, as much as possible. Back again for Stephen Cohen. In the Hessian, Gary Moore. Just being played at the moment between the 45 and 65, as you can see. It is, it is an important play, though, with the last one from Lee Keegan went wide. It's an important possession just to narrow a reaction to the goal, in other words. Ashin Mullen comes forward. Lovely little shimmy to the right. Great block down, ball rebounds over for Ezra McLaughlin. Carrying under a bit of pressure, but they deal with the challenge admirably, easily. They come away with it. Brina Bjorgliak. David Clifford comes out around midfield to gather it. Ball down the middle. Mayo just look a little bit exposed here. Ball comes over towards Brina Bjorgliak again, trying to cut inside. Knocked away. Good defending by Matthew Roy. And Mayo fill the gap down the middle and come away with it. They're experienced, as we all know, so they will be well aware that they're down numerically. David Goff spots the foul. And there's a free in for Mayo. Yeah, the foul is on Kevin McLaughlin. Steven. Steven. Well, he does pull the guy down with surely there's two to tango. And that was the incident that uh, resulted in Ed O'Shea getting a black card, so the clock is ticking down as we look. Obviously, the information came that from the linesman that Aidan O'Shea seemed to be the guilty party. So now... The part I find always uh, troublesome about those calls from linesmen is, you know, they must be absolutely sure to convey that message to the, to the referee, and we're looking at replays, and we're not absolutely sure. Killian O'Connor has already scored twice. Floating this just over the crossbar. To raise the white flag. Well, that was the important point I was talking about, Marty, to react to the goal, because we've brought it back to one as we tick down to half time. 14 men, obviously, so this is this is a vital phase. Just one point between the tips. Tyke Morley. Going along with this time, there's a touch. Good defending by, by Mayo. Cody Clifford is disappointed to say the least. 
it's a funny old game, I have to say so far. The, the, there seems to be the auction that was in the previous game, and you know the drama in it, and uh, it just hasn't uh, got the, the, this game just has not come alive yet. And I think Kerry will be a little bit disappointed that uh, it's as tight as it is, but uh, Mayo have certainly put it up to them, and uh, they'd be thrilled with this first half. It'd be hard to reach the, the level that we saw in Galway and Armagh, to be fair. We weren't even playing, Kevin, and we were exhausted. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Jordan Flynn. Two minutes, three minutes, I should say, of additional time. Kevin McLaughlin dances away from the challenge. Goes long. Not a attacker's ball. Should be a defender's, and it is. The carry are there in sufficient numbers to clear it down for Sean O'Shea. Paul McLaughlin puts in a challenge. Goes over for us, Prina Bergliak. Tony Clifford was making a run over towards the Cusick. Comes back for us, Dumont O'Connor. The Grail Club in uh, Trilly Town. David Clifford lays it off towards Graham O'Sullivan. Clifford is available again, but he goes to the inner channel for us, Sean O'Shea. Scorable position for Darren Moynan. Lovely little hop of the ball that made the space that results in a fine point for David Moore. Just a simple hop of the ball created the space and the opportunity. In other words, the skill, isn't it? Yeah, that absolutely. Lovely, that you wonder how do these fellas get space? And it's that just little bit of extra skill that opens it up. Killian O'Connor lays it back to Brother Dermot. Dermot is uh, bouncing back up, but uh, the Perryman still finding it a little bit difficult. There's Dermot O'Connor here, and Graham O'Sullivan came in. Referee going to have a word with the Kerryman. That's kind of awkward more than anything else, wasn't it? Dermot O'Connor showing a yellow card. That's Kerry's Jeremy O'Connor. That's Kerry's Jeremy <laughs> O'Connor, yes. Ken. Ball comes down. Mayo have it. There's an opportunity. Kevin McLaughlin, can he score? It zips over the crossbar. But for one split second, there was an opportunity to rattle the back of the Kerry net. Well, the rickish air, the ball just comes in the favour of Mayo just here. And the lovely little pop pass, and really that has to be the back of the net. It's just a blast, really, and uh, an opportunity lost, but the point was was, was uh, scored, and that's important, too. James Horn was rarely animated along the sideline. I just saw him jumping into the air. He wanted a quick ball into the full forward line. Instead, Mayo go across field. Play the patient game. This is Conor Loftus getting by, trying to get by his opposite number 12, Stephen O'Brien. Clay Mayo, the finish, not so good. Ball is wide, off the boot of Paddy Durkin. Just one goal in this first half, scored by, yes, guess who? David Clifford. A Stephen yeah. O'Brien, David Clifford special, which means that James Horn's men are down just a little bit at half time, but his team have been performing well. The long ball strategy into Jack Carney and David O'Connor, and Killian O'Connor has been working well. Plenty to fight for, plenty to play for, plenty to talk about at half time. Because here in Croke Park, on a dramatic day at GA headquarters, it's Kerry, Munster champions, one goal, seven points, Mayo, nine points. Don't go away. And yes, five times level in that first half, the goal after 28 minutes by David Clifford, the essential difference. Uh, would you agree with Colm, Kevin, that uh, Mayo, if they're going to win this, they have to be a little bit more yeah adventurous well the goal like the uh, would be a huge score for for, for mayo's efforts Curry are still looking the more likely they're getting the scores a little bit easier but mayo have really really put it up to them kevin mclaughlin laying it off quickly for us a change on the mayo side looks like james carr has uh, been introduced for mayo and Jack Carney is the player that's uh, gone off. So uh, 
change of plan. Jack Carney, I thought, was doing well, Kevin, but maybe he picked up an injury that we didn't uh, no, see. That, yeah, that can always happen. The, the boys were, were showing uh, an excellent score he got, the one that uh, went to, I think it went to Hawkeye, the bender, and uh, I thought he was uh, showing nicely, but of course, yeah, could have got a could have got a knock. In the Hessian. Teddy Durkin. Thought about uh, going forward and then it's a bit of a cul-de-sac in front of him. Backfires Dermot O'Connor. Nobody coming down the Hogan stand side to open it up a little bit. Owen McLaughlin. Lee Keegan. Change of direction would be helpful for Mayo and that's what they're going to do now. Teddy Durkin. Stephen Cohen. Nobody making run. Three carry players in front of him, so he couldn't go long. Back to Stephen Cohen again. Well, Ireland minor winning captain 2013, winning under 21 captain back in 2016. I think the last player to do that remarkable achievement was uh, the late great Cormac McAnally. Winning minor under 21 and Sigerson. Sigerson and must be mentioned as well. Lee Keegan. On his shoulder was Ender Hessian. Killian O'Connor makes himself available. That's a good ball. Over towards Owen McLaughlin. Stopped in his tracks. Kerry come away with it. David Bourne. His options to his left is a better. Gavin White. Fine footballer from Dr. Crokes in Killarney. Great burst of speed. Well able to take a score, as we saw so many times. Here comes Dermot O'Connor. Usually robbed by Kevin McLaughlin. He just backtracked all the time. Full marks to Kevin. He did his job. Ball comes down towards Dermot O'Connor. Also doing his job. Advantage to Mayo. The referee has his arm raised. Here comes Lee Keegan. He hits it gently, but it's just outside the post and watch. Oh, he's not going to bring back the advantage either. I would have thought that's why Lee Keegan took it. It looked a little bit speculative to me, but uh, David Goff said the five seconds were up. Aidan O'Shea is back on. Round of applause for him as going into the challenge. David Bourne had a little bit of extra height and momentum ahead of Jordan Flynn. Dara Moynihan. Down towards Sean O'Shea. Quick ball inside again towards, yeah, you got it, David Clifford. Ushin Mullen staying with him. Floating it in, Rob Henley has to come off his goal line. Under pressure, has to get up. Gain momentum, referee has given him the free. Did really well, did all the requirements. Held on to it, a low one. Was just flying in and very difficult to control and then got out and got the free. Matthew Roy, with the support of Connor Loftus available. Coming forward is Jordan Flynn. Knocked away on this occasion. From Aidan O'Shea, who's taken up residence on the edge of the square. David Moore. Gavin White again. Scored a goal in the Allianz League final here a couple of months ago against Mayo. Stephen O'Brien, who was very much part and parcel of the 1 2 with David Clifford. Sean O'Shea under ferocious pressure, but even he can't bend it from there. Ball is wide. That pressure Ke wasn't it in the Hessian, I think, uh, that was putting on that pressure, and it was good pressure. Kick out. Kevin McLaughlin had it, but he won it back. Stephen Cohen is available, so too is Matthew Ruan. It's Ruan that has the ball, giving it inside. He's there for the return pass. Can he tap it over the bar? It's a poor effort at the end of it all. It's a ball given away. And there isn't a manager or coach that I know that in the country that wouldn't be annoyed when that happens to their team. Tyke Morley coming forward. Championship debutant against Clare back in 2016. He's really settled in now the temple no man at number six junior all-island medal winner actually back in 2015. here comes tom o'sullivan first to speed still tom o'sullivan what's he gonna do he's gonna put it over the bar 
He's a fine footballer. You can see why he's won an All-Star in 2019 and 2021. Second point of the game. And then he just uh, puts the burners on. That's his second point, as you say. One from play, you remember the slicer in the first half, that lovely slicer, and that one with the fist. And uh, this came again for a bit of loose play. It should have been tidier. And Kerry hit you quick. Oshin Muller. Paddy Durkin was available, but was well marked. Decides to go back in towards Matthew Rowan. Owen McLaughlin. Good ball inside. Coming through the middle. An opportunity here, and that has the power, and it has the accuracy. Jordan Flynn, 10 out of 10 for the creativity, and indeed for the finish, supplied by the men from college. And he's well up for us. He's been driving it on all day. That's a smashing score after the effort from Matthew Ruan earlier on. The one in the goalie's hands may have needed that one, and he delivered it. Shane Ryan. No goals conceded in the championship so far. Former Kerry Minor goalkeeper back in 2013 and 14 when he won an All-Ireland medal. And a right old battle for the number one jersey with Shane Murphy. And he's the chosen one between the posts for Jack O'Connor for the championship. Nice combination of football here. Pass is not a great one, it seems to slip out of his hands. Stara Moynihan and Cody Clifford. Cody Clifford this time. Give me a back first, Gavin White. And the pass is a bit hospital orientated. Here comes Gavin White. He lays it off. Here's a chance for Graham O'Sullivan. And that is going to go up on the scoreboard. Former UCC footballer, one of Sigerson a couple of years ago. Zuba Pierce, South Kerry. Good football. He's been getting uh, well up the field. That's not his first uh, uh, trip into the forwards, and uh, he's rewarded. That's a very nice score, an important score. Teddy Durkin. Goes for the short ball for Jim O'Connor. Tom O'Sullivan has come back. Actually, it's a sweeper almost in front of the. Uh, Canal and goalposts. Shane Ryan is coming charging out. Leaves it behind him. Opportunity here, perhaps. Back out first, Killian O'Connor. Keeper still not on his goal line. That's Ruan. Turns. Good score. Mayo put the pressure on and they respond. They are not going away. They are showing a bit of character. Yeah, it's a, a big one, an important one. Keeper got hurt as well in that big challenge. It was a, a shot, I'd say, for a score. It just hung in the air and collide with uh, number 11, Jeremy O'Connor. The two of them are hurt, in fact. And uh, in the resultant scramble, Matthew Ryan tidies up now, makes big amends for the one earlier. So that's a very, very important score, brings it back to one. A little bit of concern along the sideline, obviously. It's, uh, Kieran O'Connor gets some attention. Remarkable that himself and his brother won Young Footballer of the Years twice. Kieran 2015 and 2016. Shane Ryan looks to be okay. He's fully recovered. David Goff ensuring that two players are fitting well. So where we go again. There will be concern, I imagine, with Jack O'Connor and his management, Marty, because this game is not panning with the intensity or the tempo that he would have wanted. And maybe it is the break. Maybe it's, you know, the 12th, the 12th of March as they had that tough game down in Tralee. It's three months now since they were really tested. And I just don't see that tempo in them. They're still leading, of course, uh, but they need to they need to up it a bit. He got his lot this time. Won back by Aidan O'Shea. Gives it first, Paddy Durkin. And I just sense the male crowd here who have travelled from the West. For sure. Are beginning to just believe that these lads can do it today. Owen McLaughlin. Coming through, Paddy Durkin. With the encouragement from the crowd. Comes back out the post. Comes back out first, David Bourne. And funny enough, Stephen Koenig got in right beside the keeper. 
But the Kims is an indication that right now the momentum is swinging to the west. To Mayo, to Connacht. Here comes Jordan Flett. He's already scored once. He miscues this one, though, my friend. Yeah, he, he didn't need to go after that one now. He's forcing it now, just it just drops. This just drops another foot short. It's into his paws, and it has to be a goal chance. Then the breaks. We were talking about the kickouts from Rob Henley in the first half, but now the carry kickouts are also going astray. There's a bit of pressure on. Long ball inside. Goes back outside. There was a push. Referee doesn't give it. Opportunity, and the ball is sent to the left and wide. There was a real opportunity to level the game. Once again, it was Matthew Rouat. He knows it himself. Yeah, of course he does. And you just hear the oohs and the ahs then from the Mayo supporters because they're kind of drainers, those sort of shots. But the ones that kill momentum. Shock and Calfar has been up your clear. Tyke Morley. And as you know, Kevin, when you get that momentum and every team has that those moments, you have to capitalise it, you have to punish the opposition, you have to score. Absolutely, that's the key. Momentum, it's one of the most important things. You're all the teams and managements talking about it. When you get it, hold on to it, make it count. Sean O'Shea to Graham O'Sullivan. David Clifford is looking for a mark. Not too sure. <laughs> Now, yeah, I'm not too sure, yes. Well, he has given him the mark, but the referee didn't blow his whistle. Or certainly we didn't hear it, and my first query was, had it travelled the distance? But obviously it has. David Clifford dropping this in. Oh, wow. Just over the cross. Inch perfect. <laughs> Kerry are making a change. Looks like uh, Killian Spallan is coming on, son of Tom, nephew of Pat, minor well, Ireland medalist in 2014. He scored 1 3 against Limerick. And it's Toddy Clifford, isn't it, Marty, that he's coming on for? Yeah. Looks like him anyway. So a change in the carry attack. Well won, David O'Connor gets the mark. With the crowd here, it's hard to hear David Goff's whistle, but he did blow it there, and he did blow it previously as well. This comes for James Carr, cutting in. Can he do it from there? Ah, oh, beautiful. Great score. This is a young man from a junior club, Arda, who made his championship debut against New York in Gaelic Park a few seasons ago. Yeah. That, that was a smasher now. From a very acute angle, and he's not long on the pitch. Down to start, but uh, came on at half time, and that's a big impact. One point between the teams again. Stephen O'Brien just got his fingertips to it. Owen McLaughlin, picked up by Gillian Spilla. Needs a little bit of help. Great defending by Owen McLaughlin. One back by Aidan O'Shea. The belief. The self-belief factor is beginning to go up and up in the male cap. Kevin McLaughlin. Lee Keegan just got his hand to it. And the pass from Kevin McLaughlin. Connor Loftus. Jordan Flynn. James Carr. What about uh, having a go, but they spot that Jim and O'Connor is available. A slightly better position. Aidan O'Shea. Eddie Durkin was literally along the Hogan stand sideline. The call came from Matthew Rouen. The shot is from Gilbert O'Connor. The ball is wide. That looked a little tired and lacked a little bit of energy. Didn't connect with it very well. And it dipped wide. Crucial moments now in this quarter final. Clyde Morley. There's it off to uh, Brina Bjorgliak. Kerry come away with it with Graham O'Sullivan. David Clifford, Oshin Mullen, stays with him. Clifford shoots from outside the 20 metre line. Body language from Clifford said it all. He knew the minute the ball left the boot that it was not on target. Rob Henley is remonstrating with his team for somebody to make a run. 
and somebody was Stephen Cohen. Pressure comes on. Who got the last touch? Sideline ball is quickly taken. David Moore. Good pressure on this occasion by the Kerry forwards. David Clifford. Coming through the middle is David Moore. Makes an angle and shoots and scores. Second point of the match. The big lad from Tralee. And a lovely pass from David Clifford opens it up. He does the rest but way, way too easy by Mayo down here on the sideline. I think it was Stephen Cohn got involved, maybe perhaps Lee Keegan, but uh, way too easy. Conor Loftus now trotting off, and Fergal Boland, who scored well in the qualifiers, is uh, getting another chance. In fact, he scored twice against Kildare, Fergal Boland, from Ahamoa. Kick out comes to Ender Hessian. Good run by Owen McLaughlin. The space is there for it. Goes for the pass, but the pass was not the right option at all. And then he overcooked it because there was acres of green grass in front of McLaughlin there. Well, the turnovers are mounting now, and uh, they're unforced, and they're good opportunities. And it's happening on both sides. Is that funny sort of a game? They're just not minding the ball uh, well enough. Jason Foley, North Kerry man from Valley Dunham. Shane Wright. Gavin White under a little bit of pressure. Shane Ryan is off his goal line. He's now making a major run back to his goalpost. Kevin O'Connor saw that he was Backpedaling, but the effort was a bit weak to say the least. They are really mounting now, Marty. They're, they're getting you know to a level that you can't sustain attacks. You have to be getting these scores or a percentage of them anyway. Paul Ganey. Ball inside towards Sean O'Shea. Oh, great work. Great work on McLaughlin. Still comes back to Kerry. Opportunity, Killian Spillard. Sends it high, but is it curling to the left? Is it inside the post? The umpires think it's over the bar. Good score. Well, wasn't that some work by uh, Paul McLaughlin? He's been in incredible in the second half. The tackling, the energy showing, did everything uh, possible. But then when the break came, carries away, how quickly they tidied up. Lovely fast hands. Found Killian's plan in space. Curler over the bar. Gap out to three again. David Goff has decided to go for Hawkeye. Yeah, so his attention is probably drawn to it. Does that, I think that, that can mean that they have spotted something themselves, yeah, I think, I'd, in their protocol. I'd agree. Is this Tor Neal now? So it looks like a Neal to me. So yeah. the, that point is not allowed. So it's back to just a two-point game again. Kerry won 11. Mayo, 12 points. 17 minutes to go. Or thereabouts. 16 now. As I look at the clock. Short kick out for is Stephen Cohen. Plenty of space for the long ball, but there's nobody making a run for Paddy Dirk, and there is now. Have to get to it. James Carr doesn't. It's easy for Jason Foley. Here we have the situation under control. David Moore dropping back has probably helped. He's under ferocious pressure. Back to Jason Foley. Pike Morley. Then we have to give credit to Mayo. They're putting in the hard work where it's necessary up there on the forward line, not to allow Kerry to start in their own uh, full back and half back line. Good work by Matthew Ryan. Bonnie Clifford. Find it difficult to hold on to the possession. He gets it for his Thomas Sullivan. Kerry player down injured in the middle of the field. Meanwhile, Thomas Sullivan has the ball. Happy to retain it. And run now at the far side. Creates the opportunity for Graham O'Sullivan. Giving it back for Thomas Sullivan. Sean O'Shea. Lovely little turn. 
Lovely skill. Brilliant shot of Shea into the centre. Chance of a goal. And it should have been really. Tom O'Sullivan has scored three points in this match. But the last one should have rattled the back of the mail net. Brilliant skill by Sean O'Shea. Beautiful to watch. There was so, so many movements from Sean O'Shea. He left a uh, few mere defenders just completely out of the game and then teed it up for Tom O'Sullivan. He keeps that low. Has to be nearly in the back of the net. But high and over his third point, as you point out, for a cornerback. Some scoring. Ball is aimed at Kylian O'Connor. Tyke Morley comes across. Shane Ryan gets involved. And about five carry footballers available in front of the Cusick, one in front of the Hogan. So loads of options. Mayo retreat back into their own midfield half back line now. David Bourne goes for the long ball. Good mark. Paul Ganey. Good hands. That's the small bit I just don't like about that mark. And I don't want to take anything away from Ganey's mark. It's brilliant. But Sean O'Shea was flying by him. And uh, he said, no, I'll take the point rather than create the goal chance. Paul Ganey. The second point of the match. Mayo making uh, changes now. Aiden Orm comes on for Kevin McLaughlin. Kerry also made changes with Paul Murphy coming on. The screen of Yugley that made way for him. He uh, put, in a, put in a good effort. Kevin McLaughlin put in a big good effort too. Rob Hennel down the middle channel. Paul Ganey fouled. Cody Clifford to Graham O'Sullivan. Great push to speed by the corner back. David Clifford. Kerry just stepping up, going from third, maybe into fourth gear. Gillian Spillane, this time he has scored. Last one, Hawkeye denied it. But, uh, on this occasion, there is no doubt. I think I was a bit uh, unfair to Paddy Clifford. I think I had him subbed off there maybe 10 minutes ago, Marty. Apologies to Paddy, because he was certainly involved in that play. Oshin Muller. Jordan Flett. Oshin Mullen going forward. Staying up. Still old. David O'Connor was trying to set him up, but he's never on the cards there. Three for the foul on the Kerry man. Jordan Flynn just crossing the line on Gavin White. Three for the Kingdom. The old Burns from Dr. Crooks is coming on. Fine forward. Scored three points in the championship so far in Munster. Once against Cork, twice against Limerick. Stephen O'Brien is the man that makes way for him. Morley. Gavin White is available. He employs him to spray it around back for us. David Bourne and Paul Murphy. I make the point, Kevin, I know I said it earlier, but when Mayo had that momentum and the crowd here were getting behind him, they needed to get scores. They've lost that momentum again. As Gavin White yep. loses the possession. Kerry win it back. Great tenacity by both sets of players. Ball comes back outside. Ball is wide. Umpire had no doubt whatsoever. Yeah, I think that was the right call. There's a lot of poking and pushing and uh, balls ricocheting all over the place, but uh, I think I think he got it right. It is a Mayo kick out. Yeah, the point you make is absolutely valid, Marty. The, the momentum that Mayo looked like they, they had 
has been drained with those with, just with bad wides. It's a it's a story that goes on and on, unfortunately, because the the challenge now is beginning to fade away. Matthew Roy gives it back. Not over yet though. Still time for me to rescue the situation. If you were watching our match in Scotland. You never well, say, I'll tell never you one thing, you never say never, that is for sure, my word. What a day we've had here in Cook Park. So there is still hope for Mayo. Aidan O'Shea had to work very hard to get the better of Jason Foley. Needs a bit of support now. Killian O'Connor gives it over for his own McLaughlin. Kenny Durkin takes on the responsibility. Killian goes for the score, dropping it in. Ball is wide. Tenth wide of the match for Mayo, and it's been over 11 minutes, heading towards the 12 minutes, 12 minutes since Mayo scored. And in that time, simple errors, bad wides, some decision making has cost them dearly. Just to use Kevin next day's phrase, the oxygen <laughs> seems to yeah. be draining out of them at the moment. Well, wide and turnovers when you're in contention are killer blows. And the tackling is great. Like they're still turning the ball back off, Curry getting it back, but it's the next phase, the finish, the execution. Jordan Flynn deserves the credit for working hard. Mike Morley. Aidan O'Shea has gone to the edge of the square, but he needs far more incisive people around him to anticipate what might happen. Curry easily come away with it. Crossfield ball is an easy one for Paul Ganey to gather. And from outside the D, he floats this gently between the pots. Three points for the Dingle man on this particular quarter-final day in Crook Park. You know, kind of beginning to stretch for home now, you feel, you're just adding points on, generally speaking, every attack. And the lead is stretching out, now it's gone out to six. It's going to be difficult now with eight minutes to go, but Mayor haven't thrown in the towel, as you mentioned. They're still taking it on. Ashin Muller. Jordan Flynn. Spots player available, but just badly off target. There's a foul on the carry man. And that's going to be a free out for the kingdom. Uh, yellow card for Jeremy the Connor. He knows he caught him high in the year. So, Nasty type of tackle, he can fall badly, and uh, he is hurt. And I think the referee is dealt with, he has a yeah, yellow card. Two Dermot O'Connors have received yellow cards. Kerry's Dermot in the first half, Mayo's Dermot in the second half. Cory Gohora is coming on for Mayo. Looks like Aidan O'Shea is the player that's making way change in the plan for the next six and a half minutes. Three times an all-star, Aidan O'Shea. 13, 15, 17. He's won eight Connacht Championship medals. He's been a great servant indeed to Mayo football. Fine, fine player. But his defeat going to be his lot and indeed Mayo's lot this evening. There were times when they were really impressive. And certainly the long ball game in the first half seemed to pay dividends. Jack Kearney's departure, I'm sure it was because of injury. He's, he certainly was playing well. He must have picked up an injury. But, uh, Kerry, I think they've suffered a little bit from inactivity, uh, Kevin, for the yeah. last four or five weeks. This is their first series test. I think there's an awful lot more for Kerry to do. I think they'll be happy with that as they go into a semi-final. Yeah, not, not their smoothest e effort, not their smoothest effort, you'd have to say, but we mentioned, you know, the time gap, not, not only from Munster, but from the last big match they had in the league, which was back, as I said, Mayo down in Chile three months ago now. Uh, so they're kind of only kind of getting to their full their full powers, and uh, it'll be the next one. The Dubs will be waiting if they can uh, hold on here and, well, pull off what looks like, it looks like a likely victory at this stage. Here's Joe Connor, just introduced. He's acres of space, he's still going. The ball comes out nicely. Here's a chance for Sean O'Shea, and that's over the bar. 
Well, you talk about a super sub or an impact sub, Joe O'Connor. The amount of freedom he was given by Mayo was ridiculous, to be honest with you. And the ball fell out for a shot of Shay. He was happy to take the point. Oh, no tiredness, no tired legs. Mayo have put in uh, a really marvellous defensive effort. Some of the tackling, the one I mentioned, Don McLaughlin, Lee Keegan, uh, Paddy Dirk, and Oshin Mullen. These sort of players have really taken it to them, but that just extra bit of skill up front from the Curry boys has made the difference. This effort is again swinging to the left and wide. So that's uh, Mayo's 11th wide of the match. And some of the, the shooting is coming from tired legs, where they possibly at this stage would need to yeah. keep the keep the possession, try and create something a little bit more. And one of the one of the questions you're often asked is, well, what's what, you know what what's a, an allowable wide tally? Like what's reasonable? And you just kind of say, well, <laughs> none <laughs> to start with, if at all possible. That's that rarely if ever happens in a match. But up around the five six mark is as much as it, you know the the better teams will be keeping it to that level and scoring the ones they often say score the ones you're supposed to score. Tori Gohora got his touch to it, which meant Kelly Connor couldn't pick it up. Instead, the ball comes towards Cody Clifford. Ball into the centre towards Michal Burns. Lays it off. Opportunity here for Paul Gainey. The white flag has been raised once again. Change again on the carry team. As David Clifford is the player that's making way. His goal was absolutely crucial. Tony Brosnan from Crooks is the player that's introduced. Well, you get a sense of the value. Well, we, we know he's, how, how good he is, but the sense of his value, like the whole of the kingdom take a goat any time he gets any class of a knock up front because he's critical to their Sam Maguire aspirations. Easy ball for Shane Ryan to deal with. The energy. Oops. Mayo regain the possession. To a nice one too. Jordan Flynn is happy to take the point and move a little bit closer. But the gap is quite large. He's been in a good shift too. Keep some nice points, worked very hard, and he's a player for the future. Just needs to tidy up his game a little bit, a little bit loose sometimes um, around the central areas. But uh, he's had a really good season, he's pushed it on, and he's pushed it on a great deal. Gavin White had to put his foot on the accelerator to reach the ball, it down towards Paul Murphy, Michael Burns. Looking around to see who's available, but uh, decides to cool matters down, keep things under control as we head towards the 70th minute and confirmation of Kerry's place in the All Ireland football semi final of 2022. Paul Ganey, Thomas Sullivan. Going for the score, just outside. Did he get a late bang there? He certainly uh, is lying down. Referee is intervening here now. Yellow card for Fort Cahora. Tom O'Sullivan is still down. David Goff has dealt with the situation, giving a yellow card to Fort Cahora. I think uh, Marty Thoughts at this stage, when the Clifford substitution confirms it, Thoughts have turned to Dublin in the semi final, haven't they? And on the evidence of what we saw the weekend, both teams over the Janum, for sure. Mm. They're not at their, as I say, their full powers, their full heights, but it will still be a mouth watering tie and all the history and tradition that goes with it. So we can look forward to that in a fortnight's time when they match up. I think Kerry really needed a test and they got it. They were, they were tested at various times this afternoon, but once you don't take the opportunities that Mayo were presented with and created, it's a huge disappointment for them. But Kerry will be happy to, I suppose, make the All-Ireland semi-final without reaching 
yeah. that level that you'd expect from the king. Yeah. The questions, the questions, the difficult questions, what I said yesterday, the, the honours questions weren't asked. The opportunity to ask them presented, but in not get, getting the scores, may I just couldn't get to that critical mass of now, game on, let's see what you're made of, good check, yeah. 10, 50 minutes to go. 100%. Kerry 118, middle 13 points. Just four minutes added on now. As we continue on with Tim O'Connor. Going for the long ball. There's a collision there on the referee, David Goff. I think making the right call. Accidental collision, but see it norm anyway. Is the, is the mayor lad? I recognize the, the red head. I didn't pick out the carry man that went flying across him, but uh, medical people in immediate. It's one, of the, it's one of the good rules as long as it's not abused. And there has there have been abuses of it by lots of players going down holding their heads trying to kill off a bit of time, but uh, very obviously, there, there was a clash. You don't have to see that. Just a little bit of concern, obviously, still Aidan Norm from Knockmore is the, the Clare, the male footballer that has uh, been just taken aside as Dr. Sean Moffat. Make sure that he's okay. Anything around the head is quite serious, and the male team Jason just Foley, doing the right it? thing. It's Jason Foley, yeah, actually, that yeah. saw Gavin Crowley is going to be introduced. And again, medical team for. Mayo and indeed Kerry doing the absolutely the right thing. Well, it could be a kind of HIA territory there. They'll have a look at the head injury and see that all is OK. Mayo dropping this ball in in the hope of getting something out of it. There's more hope than anything else at this stage. As Kerry come away with it. Good running by Tony Brosnan, carrying it, laying it off. Far as Joe Connor made an impact that's being introduced. Ends up with Tony Clifford, who sprays it into the middle. I think Joe is, isn't Joe the, the captain in waiting? Is, yeah. yeah. Gavin Crowley got to touch as well. Tom O'Sullivan backfires David Bourne. Kerry, at this stage, satisfied to just retain the possession. Mission accomplished in Quilt Park. Mayo not giving up. Hall Burns giving, some, giving it back. Good work again by Tom O'Sullivan. Gavin White slipping and sliding but uh, under pressure. Owen McLaughlin chasing everything as usual to his credit. David Bourne goes back. Now Kerry come away with it with Michal Burns sending it across towards Tony Bresden. Two Dr. Crooks lads. Over Kerry. Good pressure by Mayo. The ball is needed. It's a bit silly now, to be honest with you. Referee David Goff showing Tony Bresden a yellow card. I think the referee is absolutely correct, to be honest with you, because yeah. this stage just let it go. There's a lottery in the hunter with the war pain he was going to yeah. he was going to be enduring. Floating one in in the hope of getting something. It might, you never know. Jordan Flynn taking a shot. The ball is wide. And with it could well end Mayo's championship journey of 2022. Yeah, that's kind of been the story of that ha of the second half, it just encapsulated there in Jordan Finn's drive. Well, it's a red card that flashed here to Tony Brosnan. Is it? David Goff. I think they can... Or did he cancel it? I think he cancelled <laughs> it, I think, yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, well, it's been a day of drama, Kevin, let's be honest, yep. particularly in the first game. 
Referee, I'm sure, is going to blow the fuzz out whistle. If you live long enough, you'll see everything, won't well, you? We well, we saw a lot of profile today, including the penalty shootout. But for Kerry, Jack O'Connor will return to the kingdom knowing now that they face Dublin in an All-Ireland football semi-final. They overcame Mayo eventually. Not the free-flowing kingdom movement that we expected, but enough for Jack O'Connor to work on. 71,353 enjoyed a quarter-final. Mayo certainly had their chances, but uh, some poor decision and poor shooting resulted in that momentum swinging back towards Kerry again. Kerry, the kingdom, the Munster champions, will face Dublin in All-Ireland Football semi final. Full time score here in Croke Park. It's Kerry, one goal and 18 points. Mail, 13 points.